Hey, welcome to Let's Get Furious. I am Megan. Hello, I am Dan. Hey, I'm Greg. And today we have an awesome guest to talk with us a little bit. He is a voice and motion capture act actor. Wow, that's difficult to say. Uh, now he's worked on some of the most amazing games over the last few years. Games like God of War on the PS4, Spider-Man, Days Gone, Death Stranding, Jedi Fallen Order, The Last of Us Part Two, Vader Immortal, and very recently he played both Taskmaster and Phil Sheldon in Marvel's Avengers. He's in all the good ones. Ones. Yeah, basically all the good games of the last. I've few heard years. of those games. Yeah. <laughs> so this is Walter Gray the Fourth. What's up? How's Hello. it feel to be a part of some of the most amazing games over the last few years? It's one of those things that um, doesn't really hit home until you know so much time has passed. I kind of go, oh yeah, you know, I celebrated the release of Avengers, and then I went. Oh, I'm in this a lot. Oh, this is a thing that's <laughs> still, it's just still every day. It's a little bit more reality sinking in and it's, um, it's wonderful. And it's, and it's an honor to be here. Thank you guys so much. Uh, of we're course. so happy yeah, to have thank you. you. Yeah. yeah. There's a little look at you. Uh, oh, yes. there he is. Yeah. As that's a much different, right? I'm just trying to find that mask for Halloween and it's that's been very uh, similar, surprisingly how they... difficult. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah typecast. Mm. Yeah. See yeah. now. Yeah, you're pretty versatile though, because look at you here. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Well, mm. it, what's difficult is is taking the eye out for certain oh. scenes. <laughs> wow. but, and, you know, when we had to shoot a day, you have to have the eye back in, and that's that as an actor, that that shit stretches. It's tough. Know. I don't. I don't mind telling you. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, because yeah. got this was you and A Day, right? That's me oh. and A Day with my eye yeah. and my uh, uh, looks like protruding nose, which is cool. Um, <laughs> I, I have a serious question. Yes. Why? Why do they have you playing so many older characters? I have a is serious it your answer. Voice? Is it? I, yeah. I, I there's there's been a there's been a thing my my whole life. If you actually if you ask a lot of my my high school buddies. Um, I've always sounded more mature than I actually am. That I'm, makes sense. I'm 33 right now. I turn 34 next month. But back in high school, um, I, you know, when I was 14, 15, when we had a dance or whatever, they'd make the DJ say, happy 40th birthday to Walt. Yeah. No! <laughs> um, that's, that's a true story. Um, so I've always had, I've, and I think it's more that I don't have the intelligence or the maturity of someone older than me. It just, apparently I come off that way. I don't know what that was. Uh, it's hilarious is uh, what it is. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but the answer is I had no idea how old Phil was. I had no idea. Um, I mean, Taskmaster, we can assume, is around, you know, what, mid 30s or yeah. uh, later. So, early top 40s. Secret. That's top secret. Early I 40s. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know how old he is. Yeah. Um, but no, I, I didn't know. But yeah, there's a chairman uh, later in the audio files. You know, they're hearing that they have, if you pick up all the audio files in the, in mm -hmm. the game, um, there's a chairman that I just kind of did this, you know, old sounding bastard type person um, <laughs> just, you know, if we need an asshole to sound like they're grilling the avengers i'm like i can do that i know these <laughs> no, no, i had no idea how old phil was and that might have been an instance of they didn't have the character model until after we started oh recording. sure yeah you know, of so, course yeah. right that's that's right. always because it takes a village there's so many people yeah uh, uh, working on so many uh so many different aspects but yeah is that on your special skills on your resume though like i will play that asshole who <laughs> <laughs> it's not they just they meet me for half a second they go oh got it now we can fill that can we can we get I him in the... <laughs> amazing it hasn't been yet but maybe it will after this interview so thank you <laughs> So tell us a little we, bit about yourself. How did you get into this? Like, what was the, when you first realized that you like video games? I mean, I realized I first like video games when I was a child. My mm. parents did not get me a system when I was young. Oh, interesting. Being, what? Well, it wasn't a, they're, you know, they're both um, very, you know, <clears throat> educated, intelligent teacher educators. My dad was yeah. a psychologist. <laughs> My mom was a French teacher at IUP. Oh, wow. where I went to college, undergrad. And, um, uh, they just uh dad always had the saying um you know video games make your brains run out your ears um it mm -hmm. wasn't until i'd like to think it wasn't until i started working in the industry and i actually showed him 
uh, the trailer to Uncharted 4. I think it was like their first gameplay trailer. And I went, do you see how amazing this is? And he was like, yeah, this is, he was recognizing that like, you know, with the first Last of Us, um, every, he was recognizing that storytelling was taking a big part of it and mm. me working in it, you know, having the background and having the, uh, the training as an actor, now working in motion capture uh, near the near the end of, of his life, he was able to kind of see that I was going in that, that direction. So I've always loved video games. My cousins and my friends had the Sega or the Nintendo. So I would go over to their place and play it. My first system that they actually got for me was on my birthday and it was an N64. That's how late oh, I, I started. That's 1996. Okay, 90, okay, 90, no, 96. How yeah. do you know so that? So what you're saying yeah. is this is one of my favorite when I came out. Yeah. The sweet there little kid go. didn't have a video oh, game. Oh my that, God. Uh, that's I, yeah, I, that I looks picked like that it was one taken to, last year. It was uh, <laughs> for my second quarantine haircut. I decided this to, kid, yeah, <laughs> my second quarantine haircut. There's, there's me and Chewy in. Uh, yeah, 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 that's um, right. Kind of like you have a fanny pack. I do have a fanny yeah. pack, that's, which are coming oh back. God. Which are coming they are, back apparently. And yeah. I, that was that was yeah. Disney World. That was I. I think that was Disney. You were World. ahead of your time, dog. Yeah, that was before. So even though you uh, didn't have a video Chewy game system, you clearly still like Batman. Oh, I love Batman. Oh, I, aggressive the, inline skating? Totally. Yeah, inline, that aggressive too. inline skating, and that's <laughs> for that that a reason. And I love that shirt. I actually, it won't. Oh, oh shit. I wish I had a, I had a, I had a adult version of that shirt, but I don't. Oh, yeah. That is cool. I was going to say, if you still have a, that, it's probably worth something. True. It's, it's long. <laughs> what shirt are you wearing right now? I am. This is uh, Mongo from Blazing Saddles. Oh my and, God! One uh, of the greatest you can, you can bleep ever. it out, right? If I stand up, you can, <laughs> yeah, you have to. sure, sure. Yeah. It's one of my favorite quotes in the entire movie. <laughs> <laughs> never mind that shit. Here, Here comes, comes Mongo. Mango. <laughs> I've never seen that shirt. <laughs> never. Oh, seen I have online. Like it. I, yeah, it's you can you can go online to search for it. I, but literally awesome. in today's day and age, if it, anybody who's watching this has not seen Blazing Saddles. And I wouldn't blame you. It's an older movie. But really, for anybody watching this, right now is a good time to go watch that movie. It's a satire about racism. Mm -hmm. And it is wonderful. Hysterical. Yeah. Go watch it. Go watch it. It might oh be, gosh. it is so definitely funny. my favorite Mel Brooks film, which is saying uh, something because so many of them are, are classics. But well, right. But I mean, it's just like at that time to take on race the way that he did was ballsy and mm -hmm. amazing and he mm -hmm. walked a line and pulled it off and it's yeah. a classic yeah it's oh the real question is greg when's that video game coming out could we could use a blazing saddle video Ooh, game, right? yeah Good. yes we could i like yeah. that idea oh who is this oh that's i don't know like, Walt knows who that is oh no that's, who is um, that? hang on hang on is well, that it's it looks like gandalf but that's gotta be is that somebody Walt, else yeah, I did this that for you, like Walt. Gandalf. I heard you're a huge Lord of the Rings fan. That's yeah, supposed like, to be me. <laughs> yeah, that's Walt. That's that's Walter the Gray. I'm mm -hmm. honored. That's I am Walter honored. Walter the Gray. I love. I that that. Not only Gandalf, but Ian, Sir Ian McKellen, and all oh, everything yeah. you just did makes to just even be remotely associated with all of that. I, mm -hmm. I, I think I'm, I'm not going to last through this interview. You you guys are so. <laughs> I'm feeling so much wonderful. We love you. <laughs> Very first video game you fell in love with when you were a kid. Do you remember oh, that? Game? Great question. Thank you. Um, yeah, it would be. It would definitely be before I had my own system. So I think. Oh God, the one that sticks with me the most that I know I played mm. the most was Sonic the Hedgehog Two. Ooh, oh Blue wow! Sweet House. Mm. I know those. I know those levels. You know, backwards and forwards. Um, <laughs> and that was mainly you know playing at friends or my cousin's mm. place. Um, I know that we had an Atari. I was too young, though. I was born in 86. My only regret is that they didn't keep the Atari, and I don't still have it. I wish uh, I had that, but I don't know what happened to it. But yeah, so I remember, um, and when I was a kid, I have fond memories of, and I didn't have pictures to share with you of this, unfortunately. We had a Tandy desktop computer, oh. and there was a file of computer games. And on there was like, you know, early 90s, Com uh, Commander Keen, right? Early ID software, uh, Crystal wow. Caves, Dark Ages. From oh! I think it was a post yeah, right. You remember Dark? Like all these oh, old kind of yes! side side scroller games. 
Um, and that's kind of what I would, you know, as a child really get into. And then, um, yeah, after that, I just never had a system until I, it must have been 96. And, um, uh, you know, Goldeneye was the first. That's all I wanted that Christmas was Goldeneye you, on the 64. Mm -hmm. I'm a huge, and always have been, a huge, I mean, the game's phenomenal, but I've always been a huge James Bond fan. I'm a James Bond freak. And I got my own thoughts about the whole mythos and everything. And, yeah. Uh, mm. But anyway, so Goldeneye and then six. But then um, I actually remember I traded in at a KB Toys. Did you guys have a KB? KB? I, yeah. Oh, I yeah. KB Toys. yeah. Yeah. At a KB I think Toys. Meg, Meg's used to work there, I think. Really? <laughs> <laughs> i had the i had the bright i don't know what it was i think a lot of my friends had a playstation one and okay. for whatever reason even though it's a 32-bit playstation gaming console and a 64-bit i i wanted to play you know gta and gta 2 <laughs> yeah. and at, at the time which isn't a great game but at the time I wanted to play Star Wars Phantom Menace on the, you know, like, the Oh third yeah. Person. You remember that? I remember um, that. Yeah. I was super uh, fun. Yeah. And, and, you know, and PlayStation one actually has a lot of great, but I, I felt at the time I, and so I traded in my N64 and like a bucket of change in order to get a PlayStation one. Nice. I have since gone on eBay, found myself a working N64. I now have an N64 again. Oh, um, oh nice. So I am, I am mm. backlogged on my oh, systems. Oh, that's awesome. Um, so I, I, I consider myself a late bloomer, but a gamer. And I love, I love video so, games. All right. So, Walt, how did you get into working in video games, doing voiceover? Uh, I, I, when I graduated from UCLA, um, my MFA in, in 2011. Uh, around that same time, I had gone to a workshop with Gordon Hunt, and the scripts were from Uncharted 2, and with, with Gordon Hunt and Amy Hennig. And it was an eight hour intensive at House of Moves. And I, I didn't know this. Yeah, dude. I absolutely mm -hmm. fell in love with, oh, this is theater in the round. That's what oh, motion wow. capture is. Yeah. And this is what I tell. Mm -hmm. This is what love I tell. Theater in the round. I, I've I actually totally agree. Some, I've taught some summer classes at UCLA before the pandemic. And I was just like, guys, this is, this is, and you know, a lot of casting directors in, in video games that know that they need motion capture. They actually look for the actually trained actors, which I think is very mm -hmm. smart. Yeah. I agree. Um, yeah, it's like theater. It is. Yeah, it is like, well because, sense. because you're mic'd and unless they tell, unless it's a situation like God of War where they have a digital camera and they know exactly where that camera needs to go and you might need right. to, to Speaking open up to it or of... play to it. Right. Speaking yeah. Um, but um, they, you know, God of War. It, it is theater here. around. Yes, that is from. That oh, is from perfect. Goodness. Yeah. God of War. That is that is um, for anyone just looking at this image. I'm assuming it's which one? Are, yeah. Who's the buff guy behind uh, Chris Judge? Right. There? Okay. Okay. <laughs> who's the buff? Guy? <laughs> <laughs> That's me. I almost wore that shirt tonight. That's me oh. uh, sweating profusely because <laughs> uh, we had to, on the stage. This is the stage at uh, uh, Sony, the Sony stage in Playa Vista. This one right here. Um, I think that's on our south stage. Yep. Yeah. Uh, that uh, that's where we shot God of War, amongst you know a mirror. Yes. Yeah, a mirror. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I sent you all these. Uh, I they they let me play with the Blades of Chaos for like five that's seconds, amazing. and I had to wow. take a picture with them. Um, yeah, there they are again. Yes. <laughs> thank amazing. You. This is um that that was the you know when when you know uh, Atreus actually asks Kratos, he's like you know what 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 am I? He's just like. You're a god boy, and he does that. Oh, all day. right, and, and he's he's pulling the boat. So that is our boat. That the the metal pipes and the, the and it was, we made it very well. Uh, Ryan Beeson and some other of the other guys on stage. Uh, we mm -hmm. we constructed this. You know, you see it on wheels, but I had to kind of hold it up when Chris was pulling it, and it was a little shaky, and it kind of made a little noise and. And oh, wow. Corey, Corey Barlog, the director, was just, yeah, we're getting a little bit of noise from the from the boat. Can we or the rickshaw, mm -hmm. as we called it, because you know, look the at the rickshaw, it. yeah. Um, yeah. And so it, I had to be absolutely still because if I started, but then you know, Sonny, <laughs> who was doing his job as as an actor, he would be moving in the boat, and we just hear the, little, you know, just hear a little, oh, no. because they recorded <laughs> yeah. some live. Um, but that was, um, and there is a video online, I think, of them in the suits with the face cam, and you see me just. <laughs> that was a really fun involved shoot um it was it was uh, god of war 
they really went above and beyond to try to give something a, a kind of a, a new cinematic adventure and something very different for Kratos, obviously. And I think they succeeded wonderfully. And I we we all just saw the announced trailer for uh, oh Ragnarok, yeah. and I can't yeah. wait. Mm. I was able to work a little bit on that before I left, but as a PA, and and oh so I, I have nothing. Even if I did have any, I don't have any information for you on that. Just but. make up something, please. <laughs> <laughs> make something up. <laughs> I, make something I can up. I can tell you, it's going to be phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah. That's like, fair. I, oh my gosh. At that the is very fair. early stages of it, I, and what we started to record, I know it's going to be awesome, and it's. I mean, they have an amazing cast. They have an amazing team, and, and God of War is gonna just—it's uh, you know, I'm, so, I'm very excited. Let, let me ask you this: um, like, so you worked in uh, the Santa Monica studio, right? Um, yes. But there, like, the main studio for Naughty Dog was always House of Moves. Um, so the main like, studio for Naughty Dog was House of Moves up until Uncharted. Or sorry, up until Last of Us, right? And yes. then they were yep. shooting at Culver Stage. Okay, um, that's that, before, that because Culver perfect. is where they yeah yep. Culver is where they had the the mo the workshop for U three, and I think one, two, and three were shot that, at House of Yes, I think. yeah, no, and, they yeah, were. This Culver, is, this, yeah. is the, this is the Culver Stage. That yep. actually, if you zoom in, if anybody's watching this, you zoom in on that on the left of the opening there, <clears throat> that kind of blocks with the yeah, on the, Look at yes, Meg's. exactly. Oh, you know, Megs are amazing. This yeah, structure there, she that is. structure right there. Yeah, I love this because this was the background on my on my phone forever. Mm. That structure, oh, that structure is actually, uh, I think it's Tommy, right? Tommy's car on the side after they crash and, and last. Oh us. no and way! That, oh, that is my. the mocap build for when Joel and Tommy and Sarah are in the car, and you have to. The first thing you do is Joel is kick out the window. Yeah. That is that is the car on its side that we filmed. So this was taken right after we shot that for awesome. Last of Us for the first movie. Wow. Um, so anyway, that's where we that's where they uh, shot Golden Abyss, the PSP uh, or was that PS Vita? It was Vita, um, right? The Golden the Golden the Uncharted uh, uh, spinoff. That's also I've, on Culver Studios. Um, this is this is a crew. I, I actually cannot hey, remember what the hell can, this is for. Can I can I ask you something, Walt? And can you I can call ask me you anything? Can I call you Walter for no reason at all? Absolutely. Okay, yeah. um, Walter. Walter feels, um, so the family Megatron. Could you, could you go ahead and throw that last picture back up? Because you're so oh, sure. amazing at this. So there's a guy <laughs> in here. Yes. That I went to school with. Okay. The guy on me. the far right. His name is Scott. Scott Carlisle. Yeah. That's my buddy. We I have went other to people with him. Okay, we have others. We have you went to. We have so many Australia. people in common. Oh my goodness! Scott Carlisle is one of my favorite people on this planet. He's a great guy. Scott Carlisle is incidentally the reason. He's part of the reason I got this job. There he oh, is. Wow. Oh, there we are in a suit. <laughs> yeah. He he uh, he was already working at the Cobra Stage. Okay. He was he was working on obviously I think Uncharted two and three. And he put in a good word for me to Bill Beamer, he, who in that uh, other picture, and there, there should be another picture of Bill, I think that I gave you guys, but um, Bill yeah, it, hired me to be on the stage. And Scott is the reason for a lot of this, I would say. He's one of my you, favorite people on this planet. Do you know what's really hilarious about this? I don't. I think that I may be somewhat responsible for you working there. Well, then I need to give you a, a thank you. <laughs> no, I'm, well. I'm serious because I got Scott that job amazing what amazing. yeah so that's, amazing yeah i love it and then and then scott obviously we both went to gordon's class together yes exactly uh, at the time yeah that yeah. see it's that it's, makes it's sense incestuous yeah. it's incestuous yeah it is the longer you're in this business you find well, more people that and this I is why it's so hard to break into doing video games because it's so like who you know that's <laughs> yeah. true Megs. no that's <laughs> true Megs. it's absolutely Megs true worked at kb toys so i mean there's hey. I, and, and i and i gave you guys my n64 which i never should have done but i got a ps1 <laughs> and then ever since then i've been a playstation you know owner mm -hmm. but um scott was also he worked on avengers with me scott was in a suit with me on the same oh, day oh i didn't know oh that scott I've been didn't, well scott for a while scott and i were both in suits for lost legacy which sean also directed uh yep. sean directed yep. lost legacy and then he directed avengers it's right great, i think avengers was a huge the, the campaign is fantastic look okay. everything about that game's camp it's fantastic i, I love, love the multiplayer i love the, the multiplayer is so good it's so good I, it's what keeps I, me going back 
<laughs> Here's a picture of um, uh, Jolene uh, and and uh, oh, Usman so cool. and Sandra as, as Ms. Marvel, obviously, Kamala Khan. Yeah. That was mm -hmm. a really fun day. Um, and we were all in, you know, face cap. It just, uh, just. Uh, that was probably just that one, one day though, right? You don't always do face cap, right? I don't always do face cap. Right. The days that they need a couple extra bodies. There's, okay, and this is myself yeah. and, and Laura Bailey when we were <laughs> recording the Taskmaster yeah. uh, Black Widow fight at the beginning of the game. Oh, that's um, awesome. Um, it, was, it was a huge. You yep, mean there that. Oh, there it is. Yes, I mean that fight. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, and you um, told me that this was the one time you were actually in mocap for this game, right? Yeah, so they. Yeah. What happened was what happened. See what happened was. See what um, happened. Was, <laughs> they um, and I'm sure I can tell this. They hadn't cast Taskmaster yet, and Whoa. I I was in a suit. I think you know to help fill the space, be an extra body here and there, wherever. And um, I it might have been Travis Willingham. I know it was one of the actors. I'm pretty sure it was Travis that said, oh, "Why don't you just have you know." Well, it's just a Walt do it and stand in and, and do the lines. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a performer. I, I went all out and I did the scene. And um, eventually, Sean, the director, uh, fought for me to stay on as oh, Taskmaster. Nice. And Usman Ali is the yes. bad guy in Lost Legacy. Right and here he comes as Moda because he's phenomenal. Usman right. is such an amazing right. human being and, and performer. But anyway, right. Sean... Uh, Sean brought, you know, because he had had Scott and I on Lost Legacy. He brought Scott and I back. He likes uh, working Which with the same people. And is awesome. I is love awesome. That, yeah, they that. Very... And that harkens back to what you were saying about the incestuous nature of it. It yeah. is true. And that's fine because, like, my thing is, like, when I was – so, like, Amy had me read with the Elenas to yeah. get them. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, when I was reading with them, I mean, it was just such an amazing insight. to. You see. got to be Drake. You got I to was be Drake, Drake for the reading. Oh. Yeah, for the reading. Yeah. <laughs> Side note, I, yeah. uh, this, it reminds me, um, I'm very thankful for this. Insomniac hired me to be the reader for their auditions for the first Spider-Man. So I got oh, to be wow. Peter Parker for See, I love Norman it. Norman Osborn. I got to be Peter Parker for yes. uh, Mary Jane, for all these, you know, for Doc Ock. And yeah. that, as a performer, as you know, it's such a helpful tool to be on the other side of the- Hey, Spider-Man. There's Spider-Man, there you go. Oh, of course. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I thought Amazing. you were gonna wear a mocap suit tonight. I was expecting that, but I'm- I, I can't, <laughs> I can't yeah. afford, I can't afford, there's my, that's, uh, I think his name's Earl. That's the veteran that was a uh, yes. you know, homeless dude in the, in the, um, in, uh, in Aunt May's, uh, uh, facility there and, and right, then, yeah, yeah dr uh dr isaac um oh i'm blanking on his name right now that's terrible but yeah a couple, <laughs> couple right. different characters and in, inspired that was my first like i'm in a suit they're capturing my face i'm doing a character like oh wow, wow. Uh, you're around, really doing so. that? Uh, all, there, of it, all of it together yeah is there a way you can describe your feelings uh, like the first time i mean i uh, what did you feel you make me cry dan <laughs> All right, yes. Absolute elation. Hmm. It's it's yeah. um it's a weird, you know, you you get a feeling it it's a, I was raised on theater. I I I went to school for theater. You have the curtain call and, you know, when your performance is going well and you feel the audience is connected. When you're on a mocap stage, there is no audience. There's just the, the team and the animators and the director, but being in the suit and um, knowing, knowing that this is gonna be a part of something. I've been very fortunate that the mocap jobs that I've had have been AAA titles that I knew were going to mean the next God of War was going to mean something to those fans. The yeah. next, un, the next right. uh, Uncharted was going to mean something. The next Last of Us was going to mean something. Mm -hmm. yes. And to be a part of those worlds that I, as a gamer, um, have lived and breathed countless hours, as as I'm sure we all have. Yeah. It was an amazing um, combination of these worlds that I love so much, and and being able to to be a performer in those worlds 
yeah, and to, and to work on Spider-Man and to work with Yuri and with Naji and who we had we had had Naji on for Last of Us One. He's Sam. Mm -hmm. He's the younger brother of the two brothers uh, in in Pittsburgh. And I had worked with him as a PA, but then I was working with him as an actor in in that home. You know, there's <laughs> there's me and Yuri. We got the there same buddies. <laughs> uh, I love that. Yeah. Uh, it's it's a. I have been extremely blessed. And I think this is part of the like, you know, how do you feel about Avengers and everything coming out? It takes a while for me to let it right. sink in. And, and so it's, um, it's phenomenal. And I'm thankful that I started in that um, framework of Amy Hennig and Gordon Hunt yeah. and Nolan working on the Uncharted games and then mm -hmm. learning more and more and, um, yeah, I just, uh, it's a long way to answer your question. Absolute elation. Um, well, let me say this. Your humbleness is unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, I, I just, I like, thank you for that. I don't, I, uh, th you're welcome. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm just saying, like, you, you have, like, look, we're all human beings. You have every opportunity to just, like, oh, I'm going to sell myself. You're just, you're, you're just a real fucking dope dude amy hennig is my real life george lucas does that make sense oh it does how she you know, carries herself how she mm. communicates and oh. i've seen a lot of interviews i've never met george lucas but how george mm, lucas kind of explains his vision and especially when he was talking about the prequels and what he was trying to do before yeah. they even came out and they kind of yeah. you know what whatever how he explains mythology how he explains storytelling yeah. A lot of that same verbiage and, and how he speaks, I see that in Amy, and yeah, I've seen that as her with her that. as a director, especially with the Uncharted series and everything else. It's it's this weird, um, it's kind of a genius in storytelling. Yeah, yeah. And so she's yeah. she's my real life George Lucas. Oh, mm. dude, I, I I I love that Walt. I mean, that, that's amazing because yeah. because the story that I tell about Amy. Mm -hmm. is i i say like when when we were doing uncharted 2 um oh. we used to just because it was still new like i know yeah. by four i know by yeah. four it was like we, this is the biggest game ever but mm -hmm. when we were doing one and two because i was in one as well so we were doing one and two it was like this is new it's a, yeah. it's kind of a new thing yeah. so when you're getting to know amy you know i was just like well so how are you writing this and she's <laughs> like, well, well what, well what do you mean and i said well there there isn't a script like what, yeah. do you, what like how does this work because i'm just an actor like but yeah, yeah, we yeah. went to lunch together how does this work well there's no script she literally said to me i write it as i go yeah how is that um, possible well, the other you, the other thing she does the game how yeah. is it possible no totally well she she's explained mm. this a couple times she she's very smart and you know they say 80 percent of directing is casting right Right. She cast Nolan. She cast Emily. She yeah. cast Richard McGonagall. Right. The uh, game writes itself. Graham and it. Yeah. Graham. Graham and it goes on. It goes on. It goes on. Yeah, Claudia yeah, yeah, yeah. Black. It goes well, on. I and love on and Claudia. On. Yeah. Robin Atkin love Downs. Claudia. Robin. Everyone, love Robin. Ev everyone that's in that's that that works on it, and she she allows them and Gordon Hunt. May he rest. Oh in peace. my God. Gordon Hunt working with her on the cinematics. Gordon they, Hunt was my teacher at UCLA. I wish I had had that privilege. I know he yeah. was for Emily as well. Yeah, I I had him as a. I took his his workshop um, after I got out of UCLA. I went to yeah. Gordon's workshop. Amazing and, guy. Um, yeah, and and he and Amy working together and allowing Nolan yeah. and Emily and Richard um, name the main three right now to yep. just do what they do best. Do yes. what every actor dreams of, which is here's the material and then Nolan to do what he does best, which is what if I, what if I say this? I think, I think Nate would actually say this and this makes more right. sense. Like, can can yeah. we try that? And, this, and then Gordon be like, yeah, sure. Try that. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and yeah. then you get that. That's why so much of all, all four, but it's, you know, all three of, of Amy's uncharted games is, is just, there's that natural like delivery of so many things because half the time, maybe it was a line that Nolan just threw out and Richard just yeah. ran with it or, and that yeah. is, that's not, you know, we see that a lot in video games, but yes, you, you, you said it earlier, the Uncharted series absolutely helped storytelling with video yeah. games and what we see 
today. Well, absolutely. I got. I got to tell you. I got to tell you, Walt. It, it, it was really weird. And I, I know we'll we'll move on, but I I got to tell you, it was weird because like just getting to know that Amy and um and Gordon were just kind of in this together as a team, and they hadn't done this before. Yeah. Um. It's new ground. Yeah. Wasn't that amazing? Like mm, I phenomenal. Could, like. Gordon came to me and said, hey, I'm going to, like, direct a video game or something. Like, you want to do that? Like, I mean, it was just so wow. new. It was Dude, so that's new. That's amazing. That's an amazing <laughs> thing to have happen yeah. in your life. Yeah. For but Gordon yeah. Hunt to go up to you and be like, you want to be in this video game? Well, um. I got, I was, I, well, I was lucky because I, I, the, the, the reason was is I was at UCLA. He was my voiceover teacher. We had a voiceover class. He was my voiceover oh, team. Oh, amazing. So when he heard what I could do, he was just like, okay, you can come. Love that. I so love yeah, that. yeah, yeah. It was very nice. He, you he's know, one of the most amazing men ever. I would actually pay money to listen to you guys talk. I was, oh, I'm good. sitting here listening <laughs> to this. This is like beautiful. I'm like so focused in this. All right, Gregory, we have to have our own. We have to have we our own it. podcast. We're yeah. it. We'll, we'll figure We're it out. We're doing it. We're doing it. It's yeah. a lot of, um, I think, what where you found yourself um gregory where you know gordon said hey i'm doing this game you want to come yeah work on it? and i Not found a my bad impression by the way <laughs> years of practice. um Damn. and then i and then i found myself in a position where amy hennig at one point was like would you mind coming in and helping with this and it's just like oh my oh, right amazing. place right time oh, yeah and when you have you know when uh, uh, i don't know it's it's i've been extremely fortunate that's amazing those that titles that you've been in are like you couldn't have, your resume is impeccable there is i had no, I had no the idea only thing, this would happen the only thing breath of the wild too get in that one and you're good right I don't, yeah i don't know and it's i i have a wonderful agency i'm with atlas talent right now they mm -hmm. have been taking such good care of me a lot of my work uh to be completely blunt and honest has been you know it's been, uh, I, I re retired back in October. I was with Sony as a key production assistant for eight years. Mm -hmm. And we would be on those shoots and I would not so subtly, as a performer, at, at the time had a, a bunch of part-time jobs, I would not so subtly pull on some sleeves and go, hey, God, just so you guys know, I have an MFA in acting. If you ever, <laughs> you know, if you ever need like a, uh, I'm so in debt from that degree that i you know if you ever need an oh, actor oh yeah that, uh and and so over time and it just, but it's a it's a it's an interesting balance of hopefully just being yourself and being available and then letting it go with that not not right. pushing your own because absolutely i would love to my god someday to have a career like some of the people that i look up to and that i yeah. work i admire um but I, I, and to have worked with them, to work on Avengers, there were days that I was in a suit and I was on the same, and I had scenes with Troy and Nolan and Sandra and Laura, and I'm just going, holy hell, this is, I'm <laughs> here, and, and to not freak out about it. Yeah. And oh, wow. um, it's, it's, who, hum who, that's the humbling part, I think. That's what helps keep me humble. Yeah. You said that this was, I'm most pretty likely sure this lost is, legacy? I'm pretty sure this is lost <laughs> legacy because uh, I'm, yeah. I'm not in face cap and I have a full beard kind of like I do now. Mm. And uh, he oh. was. So my assumption is that he was Sam in Lost Legacy. For this right. Movie. Megan, that is there a picture of him making you. out with Troy? Oh, there, wow. we oh, there, it is. Is. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. Unprovoked. His camera How then got caught to my face and I, and I, stuck there for a while. Uh, Troy is an unbelievable human being. Uh, all of these uh, performers are unbelievable yeah. um, human beings. And if you've ever met or talked with Troy or worked with Troy, he, you know, he'll come in with a copy of, uh, you know, Marcus Aurelius's uh, work and he'll just say, did you know about this? And he'll just ground you with this like amazing Oh, thought, and he's a phenomenal music musician and amazing mm. singer. My God. Oh God. Yeah. And but yeah. he he always takes time to connect with you, which I think is just yeah. unbelievable skill and, and yeah. necessary for for good acting. Anyway. Wow. Yeah, I think yeah, I don't think I've met a voice actor I didn't like. Now it's just Greg, you, all these people you talk about, they're amazing. There's well, a wonderful um, disconnect from, because we don't, this is my idea, Greg, let me know what you think. I can't Because wait. 
because we're not on camera, there's mm. considerably less competition. Yeah. Um, yeah. People that are hired, they're hired because they can do a number of things. I can do a number of things, but what I can do, Greg can't do. And what right. Greg can do, I can't do. Right. Right. And uh, you can right. sound like Laura Bailey or you can do an impression of Joel or whatever, yeah. um, but you can never do what they do. And I think that's right. the power and, and the voiceover community from what I've experienced for the most part has been very, very like, oh my goodness, I'm so happy for you. This is amazing. I can't wait to work with you on the next thing because there's this sense of just like camaraderie. Right. I, th I think also in the voiceover community, especially with video games, especially with motion capture, when you shoot on the stage, there are animators there. There are sound designers, yes. sound engineers yeah. there. You actually get mm -hmm. to to kind of work yep. with the whole, t you know, as the much team. as the team. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And that that sense of, um, of like I said already, camaraderie, but, but just um, we're all working towards the same goal and recognizing, yes, they might be capturing my movement and they're capturing my voice, but they're going to put, obviously, a completely different face on, on these muscles. They're right. going, you know, it take, like I said it earlier, it takes a village. And I know some animators from Naughty Dog who have uh, worked tirelessly and clearly have had amazing results and uh, Insomniac, a bunch of different uh, studios. And, and it's phenomenal and again, humbling to know how much work goes into a single frame of a cinematic, it's let alone crazy. gameplay and everything. It's, it's crazy. And that, yeah. as a performer, I think that's a great thing to have in the back of your head that you are literally the tiniest cog in this giant machine. Right. This is Bill Beamer. He's the man that hired me at Culver Studios. He's the reason Aww. that I have a career. He and Scott Aww. Carlisle and apparently Gregory are the reasons that I have a career. No, 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 <laughs> that's not true. But um, wow. you said it, so I'm going to take it as gospel. Well, yeah, um, that... <laughs> this is on the illustration. He, uh, Bill Beamer hired me for the job. And this was, uh, you know, mid uh, Last of Us, kind of early on Last of Us and uh, maybe Days Gone early on. And he's holding uh, less and Les is named as Motion Les. Um, <laughs> and he's in a suit, and he's the body that, if a <laughs> infected needs to go ham on a you know, corpse, or yeah. if a body needs to get thrown onto a burn pile or whatever, oh, that's, that's Motion Les. And we have a number, and Les has been <laughs> used for years. Les, uh, yes. Nolan calls him Mr. Jankles, because his ankles <laughs> kind of do this Mary Poppins thing where they just kind of, they're just not, they're just <laughs> right. off to the side. And so he calls him Mr. Jankles. He actually want Nolan wanted to get Mr. Jankles into the Uncharted 4 multiplayer as a playable character. Oh, that's cool. such a brilliant <laughs> idea. But we didn't, I don't think that in, uh, ended up happening. Now, speaking like of getting into Last of Us, you gave me some pretty cool pictures for that too. This is from the rap from the first Last of Us. Very cool. Um, very, it was such cool. it was such an amazing moment because we had wrapped. I, I'm assuming principal uh, mocap photography. This is back at Culver Studios, and you know a number of people were taking pictures. We had some champagne, and and uh, uh, it was just I I started my PA career halfway through Last of Us one, mm. and I kind of recognized at the time I was like, oh, this is the same studio that did Uncharted, like I don't, you know. Neil Druckmann at the time is like up and coming. This is his baby. He wrote this, and I could tell from the scenes. I was like, "Oh, this is this is something. This is something different. This is something a little deeper and darker than we might be used to." And um, I, so, yeah, this is a picture from our from our rap on the stage, and uh, wow. it's just that's just stuck to me as like one of my favorite memories um, from from that shoot. So that's me hard at work. <laughs> um, killing actually, it. That's me with my Buffy mug. This is uh, that's Maggie McDonald on the um, on the ladder. She did uh, the majority of Ellie's in-game movement for Tilu Two. So this is actually a shoot for Last of Us Two, and this is either a ladder, you know, cycle of having to go yeah. up the ladder and come down it. Um, but I think I was up there to help secure things. And again, hard at work. That's what you're seeing. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm obsessed with this photo because we all know how controversial the dogs are in <laughs> Last of Us 2, right? It was so eerie shooting these dogs. 
I, I, I I'm that. still challenging I mean, now, you know, with the update with grounded mode and everything, I'm doing my damnedest to get through those areas without having to hurt a single dog. Except wow, for, that's going to be tough. Know, spoilers, stop listening now. <laughs> when you have to kill Alice, that's a whole thing. But mm -hmm. um, these, they had uh, uh, four dogs at a time during a shoot and they kind of swap them out. And this amazing team, and I, I'm blocking on the name, so I apologize to the people that, that were nice mm -hmm. enough to share their, their canines with us, but these beautiful, beautiful animals, um, some of the best talent I've ever worked with, including Nolan and Troy, and they don't mind me saying that. <laughs> totally. Um, yeah, right? Uh, they actually behaved when you asked them to. Correct. Um, Nolan never yeah. does, by the way. <laughs> this was an in-game. No, he does not. And that's in part of his charm. And yeah, I agree. As soon as, and you know this, you know this from experience, Gregory. As soon as they say action, he's there. It's amazing oh, yeah. talent. Yeah, dude, um, I love him. But yeah, that's, we, we, they, they recorded horses down in San Diego on the Sony stage in San Diego. And they actually shared that data with uh, Ghost of Tsushima, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, so wow. Did you play that, that game? Yeah. Well? Oh, yeah. I platinumed it. Oh my oh, god! My... Yeah. You... Are you excited for the multiplayer? Oh, it's just ugly. Absolutely. The whole game is ugly. Absolutely. <laughs> Did you get your pre-order first? That's my first question. I didn't. Did you get I, didn't I didn't jump on that. Here's where I am, friends. Um, mm. <laughs> I have a I have a stack right here next to me. Okay. And I and I call it my quarantine stack. <laughs> and what what happened was you have one of those. Um, right <laughs> what happened was what happened was june 15th <laughs> happened and i had to play last of us 2 because i'm a i love that world and i and then i ended up being in it a bit so i needed to play it and then avengers the multiplayer they have daily challenges you have to keep coming back and yes. play, you know oh you gosh. don't have to but it's fun to come I back to and get on I, that and i need to upgrade upgrade all of my 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 characters side note I've, I've said this to a couple of my friends. Avengers is, I think, wonderfully the game that we all wish we had as kids. Like oh. we wanted to be able to play a Marvel's Avengers game, and now we can. Yeah. And Damn those kids, right. Those kids younger than us, like, there, nothing beats for me as as a gamer playing in multiplayer. And I'm not a huge multiplayer guy, especially with first person shooters. I suck. I'm terrible. No, me too. <laughs> but jumping yeah. on with your friends, nothing beats. You know, if you're Tony and you and you you know line up an arc reactor shot or whatever, and out of nowhere your buddy playing the Hulk just swings in and grabs that guy and just starts bashing him around and throwing him. Nothing beats that <laughs> no. feeling. It's Amazing. so cool and Amazing. knowing that that's your friend and just I've said this to everybody that alone sells the game for me. And the campaign story is awesome. And yeah, uh, uh. I'm, I'm biased, but the acting in it is fantastic. And the story <laughs> is just and Sandra as Kamala Khan is so down to earth and so relatable and her excitement mm -hmm. to be in this world is yeah. ours and it's, yeah. it's the perfect introduction into this world mm -hmm. god you cannot, sold the shit out of that I, it's, all of us. it's just me <laughs> it's me it's me speaking as a gamer not just you know someone yeah, that, yeah. They, don't, they don't pay me to say this i promise no i yeah it's, just as a human <laughs> yeah it's so dude. much fun you know what <laughs> we're, we're gonna have to exchange gamer tags and anytime you need a multiplayer look i'm captain america well <laughs> oh, good, because I... Do what are you love, playing as, Walt? I, 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 my highest level character is, is Stark right now. It's, it's Iron Perfect. Man. Ooh, um, I'm not mad about to play that. Is but yeah, it's just, I got Hulk. It's just <laughs> difficult. My friend that I play with, we, he, every night, he's just like, it's very difficult to have a balanced team when you have a literal god who can fly and you have Stark <laughs> who can fly. And then you have Cap that has to do a double jump to try to yeah. catch up. It's just, it's just a different, it's usually mode of transportation, right? Because right. everybody has, real. I love playing as all of these characters for different reasons, but it's just Thor might be the best character to play just because mm. the more you power him up, the more you feel like a damn god. It's just wiping <laughs> the same robots out. So. Mm, he's reading the prequel book. <laughs> well, I'm reading the prequel book. They're mentioning uh, Captain Marvel a lot in this book. I'm on awesome. page 69. But, um, nice. What does that nice. mean? I'm so sick. Nice. That's what I'm supposed to say. Why, why did you wink just then? Uh, That's weird. Dusty, I don't get it. That was weird. It's, it's you have something in your, in your eye. eye. Yeah, oh, okay. All right. From the book. My first okay. mocap gig ever, Troy Baker gave to mm. me, and it was Shadow of War. It was the second Shadow of Mordor. Lord of the Rings oh, wow. game. Yeah, yeah. and I, it, I have a steel book, like deluxe edition of it. 
I've never put it in the machine. I just it's one of those games that like just kind of felt I worked one day on that Easy. on the WB stage when they still had one and Troy was nice enough to have mm -hmm. me on for a day. I had one of those bit parts. I think I said my lady and that was it. And we just, <laughs> we that, that's my favorite part of the game. I that was oh, perfect. Yeah. Good. Favorite yeah. line. Favorite and, line was yeah. my lady. Amazing. And and at the time Jason Amazing. Spizak was there doing an orc or uh, you know one of the bad orcs or something. I love Jason Spizak that uh, he's in Days Gone as Schizo. Uh, yeah, he's but super I, talented. The super talented individual. Yeah. The day before, I had played like seven hours of Mad Max, and he's Chum Bucket in Mad Max. So oh, the what? next God. the next day, I come in and I go, "Oh, it's just Jason Spies, I Nice to meet you." And then you know, you just do the thing kind of by yourself. You're like, "Well, let's IMDb this person." Who's it? Oh my God! I've just been listening to him for seven hours, and I went up to him I'm like Jason, um, you're Chum Bucket, and I was playing Mad Max for seven hours yesterday, and I think you're just fantastic. And he immediately, he immediately, because it's Jason and he's wonderful, he immediately just went, "Oh, Saint, let me take you over here." And he went right in the character and started like as a hunchback, just carrying me around the stage. And I'm like, this is this is exactly where I want to be. Now, tell me a little bit about this game here Ooh. oh my goodness uh vader immortal was um such a unique wonderful experience uh so um uh, i don't know i'm if trying I to actually... zoom in on you no yeah i'm i'm violet i'm the and actually i did a number of stormtroopers <laughs> too so whatever's oh, easiest nice. but um in well, vader this'll, immortal this'll which is it a people. It was a, yeah, that's true. It was a, <laughs> it was a, oh, yeah. An, that's my snood. Uh, it yeah, wasn't the trunk. A, an <laughs> Oculus uh, game, Oculus uh, VR headset game. And uh, it just released, I think, on PSVR as well, PlayStation. VR. Yeah. And uh, that was up at, at Lucasfilm. That was up in San Francisco. I was lucky enough to come in and work on their motion capture stage where they've worked on. Uh, Avengers film uh, CGI stuff and they worked on I, I, I would assume Mandalorian but I don't know for sure I do know mm. that you know they've been shooting a number of what whatever they need mocap for that is like ILM's stage mm. and uh, mm. they had three episodes for Vader Immortal and if uh, anyone hasn't played it it's a really fun time you get to wield the lightsaber in VR and use the force in later episodes and I, uh, that was, that was strictly mocap. I did mocap for Vilip, which is like the main kind of resistance Mustafarian guy that yeah. helps you throughout your journey. And then especially in episode three, a number of stormtroopers. And let me tell you, stormtroopers, they crouch different because of their <laughs> armor, because of the cod piece in the front and the, the thing holding the thermal detonators in the back, they have to crouch with their, I'm going to try to do it with their knees kind of like this. So it's a very like specific yeah. crouch when they need to shoot. That stuff killed my body, but um, I'm, just not fit. I'm not fit for stunts. But um, I, I worked on that with some amazingly talented uh, stunt performers and, and, and actors. And that was such a wonderful, unique, um, just to be in, I've never been to San Francisco before. I'd never been on a location shoot before. And that was an amazing, uh, amazing time for me. Do you have uh, a favorite job that you've had so far? Is that a hard question? question. <laughs> it is a hard question because I, you know, it's, it's uh, kind of like how I answered earlier. Every like one babies. of them. Yeah, every yeah. one, every, yeah. well, and every one of them getting to work with different people, getting to work with different directors in the booth every one of them is a unique experience because I get to work with somebody different each time and each time it's new. Even if I'm coming back to a project, um, I went in a number of times for Avengers just for the, you know, all the VO for the audio logs and all the Phil Sheldon uh, news reports and stuff. And each time it, it feels new and different, which I think is amazing. I, I, I will say one of my favorite moments <laughs> They were putting out the trailer for Tilu 2, the first gameplay trailer, where Ellie kind of goes up to the, you know, the hanging mm -hmm. and he pulls guts out, you know, it's very rated M. Yes. And then at the end of it, um, I voice the big bald scar that comes out with a pickaxe yeah. and tries to take her out. 
And you I know, killed you. I killed you in that. Good. Game. Thank you. <laughs> I'm you, sorry. You, uh, no, you're supposed to. So I'm glad <laughs> you did. Thank you. Like that. Um, you had a number of stormtroopers in Fallen Order. You're supposed to take them out. Yeah. So thank you. For Which doing was that. the amazing banter, um, by the way. The banter for the stormtroopers in that game. The, the, write, the writing in Fallen Top Order notch. for the Stormtroopers was fantastic. And I got to work with David W. Collins, who hosts the soundtrack show on, uh, it's a podcast, the soundtrack show. on and Legitimately one of my podcast. favorite podcasts ever. Megs, oh my I God. With the soundtrack Dude, show. <laughs> I was in a mood the other day, whatever it was. I was a little depressed. And so I just put on his, uh, his episode. There's like four episodes of The Empire Strikes Back. Oh, mm. yes. It oh helps me get out of my funk. Oh he, my God. David Collins, is, and he's worked with so many Star Wars, uh, type, not just video games, but you know, he's lent his voice to a number of the, the films as well. That man is so knowledgeable. He's of, a genius. Of not just, he's a genius. He's a genius. Not just yeah. Star Wars, but There's so also, many people I've recommended that podcast to. I was like, if you have any interest in any how chance music I get is a... used for storytelling in, <laughs> yeah. in any form, video games, yeah. movies, musicals, whatever, mm, listen phenomenal. to this show. He's amazing. Yeah. Anyway, so he, he was he was one of the directors I had, uh, him and a really good guy, Harrison. Uh, he was one of the directors I had as the Stormtroopers for Fallen Order. So that, you know, the unique experience. I will say uh, wow. as quickly as possible. So for that trailer for TLU 2 at the end, uh, Neil Druckmann actually came in and he wanted to kind of fine tune how it sounded when Ellie kind of does that last hit and then they yeah. cut back to her and Dina. And so he actually came in, as opposed to being outside the glass of the booth, he came into the booth and worked with me one-on-one. -on -one. And I just thought that was such oh. a, um, it, was, it was a nice, uh, and having seen him work as a director on the stage, and usually I'm in the PA you know, position and that, and him kind of just, accepting me as a that performer awesome. and, and working yeah. with me on that on that intimate level for that scene that stands out um there's another project i can't talk about that was absolutely my absolute favorite um it just never came to fruition and that's okay that's life okay. but um that would be one of my favorite projects spider-man i think spider-man oh. in, insomniac has this amazing team they have this amazing cast uh, Chris Zimmerman, who's worked extensively with Gordon Hunt in the past, she's a phenomenal director. Yeah. Uh, her work with um, Robert Coddington, uh, who is one of the lead uh, directors on the game um, mm. uh, for for the first Spider-Man, um, uh, that whole experience and to be brought in on that as well was just unbelievable. So I, I, if I had to choose, you know, make me choose. It's right. It's, it's, <laughs> Working with Neo one on one, and then working, uh, working on Spider Man, and then working on something else with somebody else that I can't talk about. I will also say, as a PA, working on Death Stranding was mm. a mm. wonderful, unique experience because a lot of my, a lot of people that I respect as performers, um, you know, I'd, 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 again, huge Bond fan, seeing Mads Mikkelsen on the stage oh, sure. and having him on our stage and just yeah. seeing how effortlessly that man ad adapted or adopted, adapted, he adapted himself to motion capture and he immediately just went, it's very, it's amazing, it's very interesting to watch different performers come onto a mocap stage and how many questions they ask. Which is good. It's never a bad thing to ask questions. You should ask as many questions yeah. as you need. But it's amazing, you know, to just see Mads Mikkelsen just go, and this is the this is the hallway. Okay, great. and I make a left. Yeah. And, what's, what's down here? And, that's it. and he just and he just runs with it. And it's with Kojima son. It's with you know, uh, yeah, uh, Hideo Kojima. Um, and that whole process of working with that team and working with Kojima Productions was so unique and interesting. And then Norman Reedus is one of the nicest dudes I've ever met. So down to earth, so like, just absolutely chill. Uh, I talked to him great. briefly at Comic Con in San Diego in 2012, but I had to pee like crazy, and we oh. were having this conversation. Oh, and no. I was like, oh my god! Oh, that thought I got it. I was like dying. Great. I gotta and go. I was like, oh god! And then yeah, Walter, he was gone when I I've came never back. heard this conversation. <laughs> I've never heard this from Megs. I don't. Oh. I don't know her anymore. It was like a good to know three minute yeah. conversation and he was so chill and nice and i was like this is amazing i want to talk to you but i i am dying i gotta and go and then <laughs> megan peed on him 
went to the bathroom and I came back and he was yeah. somewhere else. Of course, he was somewhere else. Yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah. Well, at least you got it. Yeah. But he was no, really he was, cool. I don't yeah, know. yeah. Super, super chill dude. I feel really. He's bad in about a Radiohead him. video. First time I saw him, Radiohead video. Really? Fake, oh, fake plastic one? trees. Oh, that's a, I had no idea. Oh, check that out. Fake plastic trees is an extra in the background, like Amazing. pulling something off the wow. shelf or something. Amazing. Yeah. 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 Great song. I'll have to check that out. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Uh, mm. Yeah. So right. it's, it's just a weird collision of worlds, you know, working right. on games. Is now a good time to take a look at some of the stuff that uh, Walt has done? Yes. yes All right. No, this is a sacrifice land. Oh, yes, right then. If you do the honors. UCA. Damn hunk of junk. Oh, we have a couple of CRTs at school. I know how to fix these when you're... CR what? No, no, you just gotta smack it. Got the time. Get it. Go! Uh, listen, kid, I'm, I'm... Sorry about your dad. My blaster was malfunctioning earlier. Hopefully it's fixed now. It was, or you were. It was. That's what I said, right? Oh, you're making a joke. Nice one. First snow has fallen. The tribe is hungry. Scared. We must show them we are strong. It's over. Yeah, Iron Mike negotiated a ceasefire. Wait, what? You're on a one-way trip to the Empire. You'll be gone a long time, lightweight. Hope you packed your underwear. Come on, have a heart. Spare me your pleas. Take them to the facility. Oh, no, no, not there. Anywhere but there. No, please. But yes, thank you for having us. Oh, we love you. Of course, we'd love to have you back anytime. Anytime you Walt. want me, seriously. Walt. Talking about anything. Let's do this. Come back on. Have me whenever that you want. Amazing. Done. Amazing. Done. Thank you guys awesome. so much. Thank you for having me. Dude. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. This has been an awesome uh, first interview with Walter Gray the fourth. Now, if you want more of this with us here at Let's Get Theorious, please like, subscribe, share, uh, hit that little bell thing or whatever so you're notified <laughs> when we come back. And thank you so much for joining us. Walt, you're the greatest. Thank, thank you. you so much for being here with us. I'm just giving back what I'm getting, honestly, guys. <laughs>